The SQL group by clause is used with the select statement to arrange identical data into groups. The queries that contain the group by clause are called grouped queries and only return a single row for each grouped item. The group by clause follows the where clause in a select statement and precedes the order by clause. The group by clause combines records with identical values in the specified field list into a single record. It combines multiple records in single or multiple columns using aggregate functions like sum, min, max, average, count, etc. Here is the syntax for a SELECT statement containing the GROUP BY CLAUSE. SELECT clause specifies the fields, aliases and aggregate functions. FROM clause specifies the name of the tables from which records are retrieved. WHERE criteria is the selection criteria. The values are grouped after applying the criteria in the WHERE clause. Use the WHERE clause to exclude rows you do not want to be grouped. GROUP BY Records are grouped based on the fields in the group by class. Null values in group by fields are grouped and are not omitted. Having clause is used to filter records after they have been grouped. For example, the employees table has a department column which has duplicate values. Use this statement to group the values in department column. First, the SELECT clause selects all values from the department column of employee table. Then the GROUP BY clause groups all the values into groups based on department. Run the query. Values from department are grouped and only one row per group is returned. Without an aggregate function, the GROUP BY behaves like the distinct keyword. The GROUP BY clause will be more useful when you use it with an aggregate function. Use an aggregate function with the GROUP BY clause to calculate the summarized value for each group. For example, use this statement to get the number of employees by department. The aggregate function COUNT is used to get number of employees and ELIAS HEADCOUNT is used as column name. First, the GROUP BY clause groups the rows in the employees table by department. Then the COUNT function counts the number of employee IDs in each group. Run the query. The result is the department in the first column and the HEADCOUNT in the second column. You can use the GROUP BY clause to group records based on multiple columns. Use this statement to get the number of employees in every department by job title. Group by department and job title. Use the count function to get the number of employees. Run the query. First, the records are grouped on department and then job title and then number of employees in each group are counted. When using multiple columns to group by, you need to be careful about order of fields in group by class. Change the order of fields in the group by class. Group by job title first and then department. Run the query. First, the records are grouped on job title and then department and then the number of employees are counted in each group. It is a good approach to use the same order of fields in SELECT clause and GROUP BY clause for better readability. The order of fields in SELECT and GROUP BY is the same here. Run the query. As the employees are first grouped by job title, having job title as first column is more readable. You can use multiple aggregate functions in the SELECT statement. To get the average, min and max salary, use this statement. Use the functions average, minimum and max to get average, minimum and max salary. Run the query. Employees are grouped based on department and job title and then average, minimum and max for each group are calculated. Join and group by can be used together in a single query. First the tables are joined and the resulting records are then grouped. To get the total sales for each sales rep, group orders by sales rep ID and apply the sum function to the order total. First orders are grouped based on sales rep ID and then the order total in each group is added. The result is the sales rep ID in the first column and the total sales for each sales rep in the second column.
you can use a join and group by in a select statement to return first name and last name of sales rep use an inner join to join the tables orders and sales reps use this statement use inner join to join the tables orders and sales reps and add first and last names in the select clause all fields in the select field list must either be included in the group by clause or be included as arguments to an aggregate function run the query you will get an error now add the fields first name and last name in the group by clause now the query returns first name and last name use the order by clause to sort the records you can use the aggregate column to sort the records use this statement to order by total sales sometimes using the alias in the group by clause may treat it like a parameter run the query access prompts for total sales use the aggregate function used in the select clause in the order by clause the records are sorted based on total sales you can use where and having clauses to filter records where is applied before group by and having after group by to get total sales for each sales rep in the year 2022 use a where clause the records are first filtered based on the where clause and then grouped and then added total sales for each sales rep in the year 2022 are returned having is like where but applied after records are grouped after group by combines records having displays any records grouped by the group by clause that satisfy the conditions of the having clause use this statement to get orders for sales rep by year where total sales greater than 50000 group by sales rep and year from order date use total sales in the having clause run the query access prompts for total sales because it's treated as parameter you cannot refer to the aggregate function specified in the select list by using the column alias instead you must use the aggregate function expression in the having clause explicitly use the aggregate function used in the select clause run the query the query returns total sales for each sales rep by year where total sales greater than 50000 where and having can be used in the same statement use this statement to get the total sales for sales reps where year is greater than or equal to 2020 and total sales greater than 30000 first where clause selects records where year of order date greater than or equal to 2020 group by clause groups records based on sales rep and year some function calculates the total sales in each group having filters the resulting records and selects only the records where total sales greater than 30000 run the query the query returns total sales for each sales rep by year where total sales is greater than 30000 to download example access file please click on the link in the description if you like this video please subscribe to our channel